Hello and welcome to Pure Experiences Online Satsang. This satsang is an opportunity for everybody, all the seekers, new or experienced, to meet and discuss the spiritual topics, especially the path of knowledge. So if you have any questions, most welcome. Paramjit is asking, although all the experiences are meaningless, but what is the meaning of when you feel sweet smell most of the time without any outer objects? Yes, it is actually meaningless and that can be due to some changes in the mind. It is an illusion. There is nothing which is emitting the smell. So probably some purification in the mind. That's all it is. So you should let it happen and do not assume anything about it. It's perfectly okay. Graham is asking how to tell the difference between a dream and astral projection to another world. It is very easy. Usually the dream is meaningless, has very little rules and you can change it as per your will. But uh, another world, if it is a rule bound area, it will be very regular, it will be lifelike, there will be laws, rules which you cannot change and it will be a more stable experience. It can be repeated. It will be very difficult to repeat a dream again next day. But uh, if you are visiting another world, it is repeatable. You will get the same world. The entities in your dream are simply your projection. But in another world, the entities will be independent. They will be real entities. So these are the differences. Sushant is asking, what does swan represent? Is the symbol used for pure experiences? Yes, it is a very traditional symbol. And I think it represents purity, truth, and uh, freedom and sometimes two swans are used for a symbol of non-duality although they are two the meaning is that not two because they look same they are identical swan is also the vehicle for saraswati which represents knowledge so we have simply adopted the symbol riyaz is asking is reiki and pranic for self-healing allowed in the path of knowledge? Why is Sadhguru Jiggi Vasudev against it? I don't know what is allowed, what is not. You know, once you get the knowledge, you can decide on your own what do you want to do. Uh, these uh, healing practices are not a part of the path of knowledge. They are not the basic thing in the path of knowledge. They are important in the occult path, where the manipulation of the illusion is the goal. On the path of knowledge, we need to simply understand that it is an illusion. All experiences are illusory. That's all. The path of knowledge is simpler and most, more basic. So nobody will allow you or disallow you. There are no opinions about these things. You can do pretty much whatever you want on the path of knowledge. Except when you are learning, you should not mix the paths. When you are taking guidance from the Guru, then you should not mix the path. Once you have achieved the knowledge, which only the Guru will decide whether you have achieved it or not, then you can do whatever you want. There are no rules here. So why is Sadhguru against it? I can only guess. Many Gurus are against using the so-called powers in the world. There are some good consequences of using the powers in the world. That you know, The person will be healed. The person will pay you money. The person will be happy, your patient, and you get a lot of name and fame also because you can touch the person and you can heal the person. It's a miracle. But there are then long-term consequences of this action. So what is the middle way here? The middle way is you put the guru field in between. You put somebody who can approve your actions case by case. Can I heal this person? Can I heal that person? You know take uh, permission before you do it. So how to do that, that is another matter. But once you have the permission, then there will be very less consequences. Shrutija is saying, he told that you actually don't know what you're doing with your and his energy. That is right. Some people have no idea what they're doing, what will be the consequence. You are meddling in somebody's karmic journey. That can be one consequence. Or that person was supposed to die, his pre-location said that he is supposed to die and you revived that person. <laughs> that is some serious meddling. So, 
what is the difference between a healer and a doctor the doctor does not get that much consequence you see because he is within the laws of the illusion in this world the physical world the laws are not meant to be broken so that is why you should always take a permission first you should take permission from the patient also then you take the approval from above is this work happening for the greater good is it following the protocols of secrecy and uh, is it covered up nicely or you are openly doing miracles and like this you see so yes there is a limit up to which healing can be just like a work of a doctor and there is a limit when you cross it it is serious manipulation of the illusion here physical world so it can be done for uh, you see demonstration purposes to advance the science and so on and it can be done for uh, specific cases where the disease was not meant to be there but it is there and the remedies that uh, are ordinary that means they are within the laws they failed that can be done in that case whether it is accidental and it can be done in cases where the patient is innocent has no karmic fruit to be taken there so it's case by case what probably jaggi vasudev is saying that people do it without this kind of discrimination they don't use their discretion when they are healing somebody okay give me this much money i'll do anything for you it is like this and sometimes even these astrologers are seen as doing that they say give me this much money i'll fix your planets stars that is meddling but fortunately nothing happens in the case of astrology it is completely fake most of the time but this healing because it is more physical in nature you see the pranic body and so on they are mostly physical so it has an effect so everybody should use their judgment and the path of knowledge says nothing the path of knowledge tells you simply that all actions have consequences be ready for that and there are certain rules in the society you see where the doctor does not get any responsibility of curing or if the doctor gives an injection and the patient dies let's say cannot handle it there is side effect or simply dies because there is no way to save then nobody will put the doctor in the jail if he is a registered doctor because they are given a special permission but these healers are not given any permission probably i don't know but ayurveda is recognized as a healing method legally but we don't know about these other other alternative healings so their karmic load is not taken away by the society they are not immune so what do they get they get all of it the doctors will not get anything because it is a special agreement they have the right to meddle in the bodies of others even if something goes wrong nobody will say a single word to the doctor and same way if the responsibility is shared with the guru field you know the society won't recognize it but probably the guru field will recognize it and they will put the limits on it that you cannot do this and that but you can do something small harmless but usually we don't have this kind of system nowadays so hopefully that answers the question why some gurus are against it anybody who knows healing you know tremendous power if somebody has they will never use it they will let that person die peacefully you sometimes let that person suffer why because it's not real you see your death is not real your suffering your disease is not real so use of powers implies ignorance and probably that is why also many gurus are against it so i have my own rules here that i allow healing and sometimes i recommend also when there is a potential in the person that patient what kind of potential he or she can become a seeker or can progress on the path any spiritual path i do not discriminate on the basis of path of knowledge or any other they have the potential then we get a license look we meddled into this person but that is for the good of all because if one person progresses it is good for the whole humanity so we have an you can say excuse or a proper justification but uh, normally the healers who are doing it professionally who are taking money they are doing it for money they do not have any justification 
whenever i recommend somebody for healing it, it has to be done without charging without taking a single rupee i know what will happen if you, if you if you take money from seekers there will be consequences when he is saying swan is also supposed to have the ability to separate milk and water so a symbol of wisdom where one can differentiate between real and unreal yes yes very good explanation yes there is another myth or you can say story about swans is that they can eat the pearls and leave the garbage <laughs> that is the same thing to find out the essence and leave the non essential is the property of swans so i know this um, issue of healing is very complicated everybody should consult their own gurus who from whom ever they learnt you know and uh, do it case by case do not accept all the cases if you think that it is safe to cure somebody then go for it actually the mother nature will give you some hints just before you start healing there will be hints given to you that do not come here there are some cases like this so the healer must have this kind of um, sensitivity which will come with experience so shanti is asking differentiate between experience versus experiencer they are same isn't it existence is the experience and the existence is the experiencer experience is simply the manifested part of the existence an experiencer is that which witn- that which is witnessing in this manifestation since the experience is changing it is false the essence is the experiencer which is unchanging and it is you so i don't know why sushant <laughs> has this your whole program is done now you are asking experience versus experiencer or are you some different sushant are you the same who did the program okay not a question but in the context of swan no no the swans do not represent anything in special you see they are not um, representing the experience and the experiencer so probably i misunderstood but anyhow there is the very very brief definition yes i realize now that probably you already know what is experience and experiencer and if you apply it on the swans if there are two and they are shown like a pair most of the time for non duality so you can say that one is experience one is experiencer but i don't think it is like this anyhow it can mean that the one is appearing as two suraj is saying what does it literally mean when you say look at things without your indoctrinations and beliefs how to observe everything as it is actually it is not possible to observe everything as it is without knowledge what is knowledge the essential knowledge that uh, that is the most important step to take before you can overcome your indoctrinations and beliefs what happens when you get that knowledge all your indoctrination and beliefs are destroyed without it there is no way to go beyond your indoctrination so how to observe everything as it is actually you are observing everything as it is but there are layers and layers of ignorance on top of it so what does the path of knowledge do it will remove that those layers one by one now even though everything will appear exactly as it appeared before there won't be anything in between you and that which is appearing that is the process so how to start you should choose the path of knowledge and you should choose a guru and start following the instructions very easy it is the fastest path if you want to take shortcuts it can be done in 3 or 4 days if you want uh, a knowledge in a lot more detail it can take 6 months it totally depends on who is teaching some people can take years and years also because they will <laughs> make you read all the scriptures in sanskrit and so on but we follow a very very fast method mary is saying the existence is being experienced through experiencer yes you can see like this there are many ways to express this thing dream and the dreamer and so on yahia is saying i have heard you talk in a podcast about same rule some rule law or miracle that when the student is ready the teacher is ready what does this exactly mean or how can this knowledge law be used in a useful way should we trust the unusual coincidence to be signed from existence or what 
like the story of Paramahansa Yogananda and Sri Yukteswar. Yes, it is often said and it must be in the experience of many people that unless you are ready for knowledge, the teacher will not be seen. Even if the teacher is standing in front of you and delivering the lecture, you won't get it. And usually the teachers recognize this, that this is not the right time, I cannot teach this person. So the teacher waits for the student to become, to reach that state where we start seeing the qualities of a seeker or qualities of a student, where the right questions start appearing, when the students, student is in a pose of surrender, when the student is sitting in a receiving pose and then the teacher appears. So is it a miracle? It is 50% miracle, 50% effort. If you do not do the effort, the miracle will not happen. So there are people who are actively searching for students. I am also one of them. So how do we do that? We spread the net. We simply announce, look, this and this and this knowledge, you will get it from here, from me. So do they all apply for it? No, they never. You know, thousand people listen to me. Only one comes asking for knowledge. The rest, <laughs> that is entertainment for them. So we don't mind. But the one who is coming for knowledge is the one who is ready. Sometimes they will come for, for you know, some other thing. Family problem, job problem, money problem, so on. Because in India, Guru means he is the Google of the universe. Nowadays, chat GPT of the universe. Ask anything. <laughs> so the Guru does not mind, you see. But the Guru has the eyes to see who is ready. And then the knowledge is given to that person. Sometimes the knowledge is given without checking also. Then we check the effects. What happened? If nothing happened, if it, if the, if it was not appreciated, well, not ready. That is the trick that I use many times. Because I am not that, you can say, advanced to find out that the seeker is ready simply by looking at his face or looking at his email. Nowadays we do not even see people. We see only emails and telegram messages. So very difficult for me. There is no uh, real life contact. There is no time to interact with people like they had this kind of luxury in the past. They used to keep the student in the ashram for uh, let us say five years and then the Guru could decide, now you are ready for this knowledge. Now we don't have, we don't have that luxury. So we have used some shortcuts. Yes, their lives were not so fast. And there was not much struggle in their lives. So even their desires were very tiny desires, you see. Nowadays you have a mountain of desires and they keep increasing every day because you see the new thing in the TV and you want it. So it is very difficult for gurus now. So they have upgraded their net. Now we try to catch people who are not even ready according to the traditional definition. I see one or two qualities and I say, yes, do the 3D and do the Pyoge and we simply tolerate those who are not ready. <laughs> it is a torture to deal with people who are not ready. So what is my score? My score is uh, whatever I select, you know, whomever I select. 10 out of 2 are not ready, sometimes 3, depending on the weather. There are methods to find out who is ready and the teacher appears. Then the teacher recognizes, recognizes the student and the student recognizes the teacher. And why is this a miracle? Because for some people who are ready, they can recognize their Guru instantly, simply by looking at the face, simply by listening to the words of the Guru or from the content of the teaching. Yes, this is for me. They know it directly. And that cannot be explained by any logical way. So we say, it was a coincidence. <laughs> but uh, there is an explanation that it was pre-allocated. That was the pre-allocation. And these great people like you named, they have a relationship since many, many births. So they are bound to meet. They were destined to meet. And so, the coincidence is mostly very, very funny in these cases because then the usual means need not be employed. The teacher appears directly in front of the student. I am your teacher. So this is how it happens for great people. For ordinary people, there is the this ordinary way to find out who is your guru 
and for the ordinary teacher there is the ordinary way to, <laughs> to simply check experiment with the students renu is saying when student is ready master appears yes 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 he is saying uh, isn't honesty enough no honesty is not enough i can tell you that on the path of knowledge there is a long list of qualities that must be there so there is an entire video on that in our program what must be the qualities of the seeker so that some teachings can be imparted to that seeker without uh, playing hide and seek kind of thing without hitting in the dark and the gurus prefer these kind of students because your effort is very less it takes very less time you you can say that it is more productive more profitable he is saying i am talking about dealing with unprepared student with honesty it is on case by case basis if some potential is seen even though the person is not ready cannot understand a single word then uh, the guru decides what to do with that person sometimes it is simply taking a chance okay let us start and we'll see where it goes like this and sometimes the cases are so hopeless that uh, and the guru tells the student no this path is not for you so i am the later kind that sometimes i simply tell the student no don't come here this is not for you actually what happens is when you tell them directly it is my experience that they feel bad they are offended and so we need to be polite little bit i am not that polite but little bit that look <laughs> i am going to give you this thing or apply after 5 years you know something some uh, fakeness or lies sweet lies must be told to them that look you have this impurity first i am sending you to the great guru who will clear the impurity then i'll teach you something simple so like this you see you need to see from the social and psychological perspective also sometimes you cannot do that thing and then you is brutally honest so i have told that to many people what do they do <laughs> they change their name and they come back in the satsang it is <laughs> it is a waste of time yes honesty with compassion some kind of sugar coating is needed otherwise the guru will end up spending a lot of time on something which is not productive sometimes the students are harmed by these things you see those who are very much involved in the illusion if you tell them this is illusion your all relations are illusory there is no person also and their whole life is based on that illusion so they are devastated and uh, then we lie to them that look it is not really true this is spiritual mumbo jumbo continue with your life the guru has a bigger duty than simply giving the knowledge giving the knowledge very easy isn't it record the video let them watch the video let them write the lessons i check them with dealing with people is uh, something very difficult it's very very difficult so anyhow there is a whole guru manual to deal with people raja is saying can i ask about self evaluation score here verbally sure you can ask anything pranam guruji i am posting my uh, spiritual uh, evaluation score over here for information i had earlier given a mail and guruji had also had seen that and he had advised me to keep the emotions at balance uh, in fact this evaluation was done in the second week of january and immediately i had forwarded to you whereas the whole process was uh, happening for almost about 6 7 months uh, wherein uh, there was uh, the happening around this uh, raja where was uh, so much intense and however the steadfastness in listening to guruji or following the path of knowledge or practicing waking state to uh, experiments to some amount the lucid uh, dreaming also was on however in the past seven or eight months there was a sensation at the back which was a kind of a crawling and earlier it used to happen that is about seven eight months back it used to happen whenever i was sitting for the satsang or listening to the pok uh, uh, podcast subsequently in the last 5 or months it had become almost a regular feature 
unless until i down uh, i lie down on my back that sensation would uh, persist so i said that what could be the cause what could be the cause and all old uh, old podcast also i had listened and sometime it occurred to me okay let me try this uh, self evaluation score and that's when i got this score and i had forwarded to you guruji my question is even now, like to keep the emotions at balance i took it that i was quite without break i was getting it to this uh, seeking uh, uh, practices so i should take a break or i should take a little uh, relaxed view about it so in the past 10 15 days i have i am going a little slow on this i am trying to be a bit more uh, socially uh, engaging in fact of about 2 to 1 and a half years i had uh, attended one party with the friends party in the sense one lunch so slowly i am doing that also but the sensation at the back it is still persisting not uh, as it used to be throughout the day but it is still there may i seek your uh, advice guruji on this yes first we'll see your evaluation it is very good i do not see major problems but there is something strange about emotional score because it is very low but uh, i told you to look at the emotions are they completely dead are you not feeling anything at all it can be a process of purification so if they remain like this for many months or one year or two years then only we can worry about them right now i simply check what is the quality of emotions are they going away <laughs> or is it temporary so the rest is very good spiritual is also high spiritual is as high as intellectual it uh, means that uh, you have found your path your intelligence is now directed towards spirituality instead of other uh, tendencies hedonistic or uh, tribal uh, other things so tribal is also very low little bit low and then you told that you are going out in the society so that will balance it no problem at all tribal is not very difficult to balance because you will need to deal with society as long as there is a body but the emotional is very difficult to establish or you can say balance probably there are issues in the family and so on that is why it is like this but i don't know then your bodhisattva tendency is high which is showing that you want to help people which is also good i mean my advice here is to wait and observe for a long time at least 6 months you do your evaluation and you and you don't even need to do the whole evaluation check only the problem areas and uh, see if it is improving and the only thing is if it is low it's not a problem it should not go lower it should not become zero that shows some kind of imbalance take a long term decision and now about your uh, sensations in the back so nothing to worry at all it's very common it's very common among the seekers and it means nothing special just like i told paramjit that it is a result of some activity in the mind it is new to you that is why it feels strange and this activity is usually associated with purification which will start happening as soon as you do the awareness practice so whenever it happens you can relax let it happen let it go away nothing unusual there when should you inform me when it becomes painful which in your case i don't think it is painful that can be called the symptoms now impurities are so bad that the purification is causing pain so like i said that the people on the path of knowledge will also experience the purification symptoms and we experience it quickly whatever you are experiencing or whatever paramjit or other people are experiencing they appear in other paths after many years of practice very you know using some artificial methods of asanas and all but you can see the miracle of the path of knowledge the purification <laughs> begins as soon as there is knowledge this is also my experience the purification happens automatically here you do not do much 
except when it has trouble it has it causes trouble so my advice about the sensation is nobody will know why it is happening nobody knows about the cause you must surrender and let it happen that's all can be said if it grows beyond you know it becomes painful then only will do something and right now everything is okay everything is fine continue your practice or probably you have already finished the program so nothing more to do continue in the awareness for the rest of your life okay you are on stage 7 yes very good normally we do not keep people on stage stage 7 for long i usually issue the certificate after after launching the person in the service field since your bodhisattva tendency is good you will be successful so keep your mind engaged in these things however you should do don't do it too much there should not be any excess like you're writing blogs all day and then watching the videos all night and <laughs> that is extreme so balance between the life and your stage 7 should be there whenever you see imbalance you should try to balance it and this tool is simply a little bit you know helpful finding out where is the imbalance yai is asking can you explain the meaning behind the number in the self evaluation it happens and that i did it just two days ago but didn't understand what the percentage exactly mean in the spiritual context you will not understand it unless you know what are layers and what are tendencies do you know the meaning of layers and tendencies yes so wait uh, the basic knowledge should be there in order for you to interpret the results or you can simply ask anybody who knows the meanings although it is very obvious from the names isn't it like uh, animalistic you know what is animalistic hedonistic and all but uh, there is some spiritual context there uh, for example the animalistic does not mean that the behavior of the person is like an animal no it does not mean that it means the concerns of survival the uh, issues regarding the maintenance of the body and so on so it has a spiritual context yes but uh, the literal meaning is very different like when i say tribal it does not mean that you are acting like a tribal person <laughs> it means that uh, your issues with the society and so on so only those who have a little bit of exposition who are exposed to this model of layers they will be able to understand but i think everybody will be able to take the quiz because the questions are very easy and then you should ask an expert to find the meaning of that so everybody is expert here those who are doing the program they are experts they will tell you what is the meaning of that yes the interpretation will be different so your animalistic is 50% which is a problem hedonistic is 48 also a problem intellectual is 50 seeker is 50 spiritual very low so this evaluation shows that not ready this person is not ready for path of knowledge but you see the liberated is 50% so it shows that there is a potential there is a potential but the liberated is exactly equal to animalistic that means it will take a long time so he is asking is the point to keep balance keep it low or high no 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 the point is to progress lower layers should become balanced higher layers should become active the lower layers must become relatively inactive but not too inactive because you see you have a body and if the animalistic goes below let us say 20% or 10% that means the person is not taking care of the body and that is not healthy same you see but uh, right now your situation is that you will need proper path and proper guidance and you will start from a basic point muni has given a link probably it is written by muni okay okay yes it is written by muni and uh, this is a very good article to understand the evaluation i completely forgot about the wiki because i thought when i saw the pok i thought it is probably the program old program yes it is also on youtube there are videos but uh, you see then also you will need the basics why that model was made how that model was made recommended to do the complete program and it will take a long time for you to clear the obstacles 
many people have shown their evaluation to me and i'm very surprised because the lowest that i find in many people is the tribal they are totally cut off from the society these path of knowledge people completely sometimes it is like below 20% and here also yaya is also same you see he has 24% raja is 26% so that is the one thing i find fascinating that people on the path of knowledge do not like society at all need some balance isn't it so you can join the society of seekers that is less troublesome and then i find one more thing that the intellectual is very high among the people who are on the path of knowledge their intellectual tendency is for many of them is the highest so this is interesting statistics so anyhow my suggestion for yeah he is also same that look for long term first uh, update your knowledge about what is this and then as you progress you can evaluate again after 3 months 6 months 1 year and uh, if you see no progress at all the higher layers are not growing or they are not uh, picking up the speed even for 5 or 6 years and that means you should leave the path that means this path is not suitable but like i said we when we find the potential we start teaching we check what happens so there are many people who failed on the path but you know their benefit was that then they came to know i am not ready for this path they take another path there's nothing wrong in that but you know the the benefit of evaluation is that we don't need to waste that much time i see the impurity and i can send them to a proper path i cannot teach all the paths but uh, i can guide that person that this path will be good for you and so on so anyhow those who do the evaluation they are mostly from the path of knowledge because nobody else knows about about this tool so far thanks to muni i was not even aware that you you have written probably you told me but i did not look at it but uh, is uh, anjali in the satsang today so if anjali is here please add this link in our tool somewhere isn't it that's a good idea you add this content somewhere in a button or a little bit of you know small paragraph that those who want to know the meanings of these words and so on layers and all they can read here or you can add uh, the link to the videos in both hindi and english versions i almost forgot that people may not know the meanings of these layers and all when we were discussing this thing now i came to know that you know there can be people who do not know what is this layer and all so just a small uh, introduction i think that, that article and uh, videos will be okay for many people actually this tool was made for people who are on step number 5 of the program what i used to tell them is that you know watch the videos do your self evaluation and everybody did their evaluation in their own style so very difficult now how to you know standardize this thing so this program was made and we are improving it anjali is doing great work so yeah he is saying my life is just miserable i admit once my life situation gets better i think those tendencies will quiet down yes yes nothing to worry you see spirituality is not one day affair it will it takes many years so you you are so lucky that you are in this field already that means the progress is guaranteed gram is asking do you think it is beneficial for a group of seekers to get together and chat do you mean online or do you mean offline because we are already doing that this this group and many group they are groups of seekers only they are doing nothing but chit chat probably you mean offline yes see yes, yes you can discuss things whenever you want in whatever way you want if whether it is beneficial or not you will come to know so it's always beneficial to discuss the spiritual matters and some pe- some people may know everything but they feel good that there are people who can understand my language who can speak my language so i think it will be beneficial yes muni singh he is asking questions to keep you talking <laughs> it doesn't matter <laughs> uh, my job is to talk gram is saying because there is no teacher or guru there it still does not matter you see then it becomes a group of seekers only 
there are no rules like this that nobody can meet if there is no guru no everybody can meet everybody can make their own groups so on so yes the only thing is that uh, anybody who is uh, not interested in simple chatting who wants to learn something will not go there that will be waste of time for that person the newcomers will not understand what these experienced people are saying okay raja has something in reincarnation podcast it said that an entity comes to birth but what is your question okay the question is is death also a series of destructive processes or programs we cannot call them programs and death is not programmed yes it is a destructive process but it is very natural we cannot even call it destructive because nothing is really destroyed it is simply changes into one from one from form to another form so it is simply process of change from the ignorant point of view it is death and destruction loss from the point of view of knowledge nothing special nothing special is happening there what about birth that is special <laughs> that is an opportunity to know so the death is not real but the birth is also not real it is simply change of form if the form is a useful form like the human form it can be used what is the u- biggest use of the human form or human life is to know yourself become free and then the form is not needed when you don't need the form when you're not attached to the form then there is no death there is no rebirth and then this entity is free and the free means it has the freedom to take birth also if it is needed but this compulsion will be gone that is the result of knowledge and that is why it is important and it is possible only in the human form that is why human life is important and death is not an issue here so here we are going to end our satsang hopefully everybody got their answers and i'll see you next time